diseases of soybean so now we will see the list of important diseases in soybean scientific name of soybean is glycin max so my name is n shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so coming to the list of important diseases these are the list of important diseases in soybean alternaria leaf spot which is caused by alternaria tenusima anthraconos or pod blight caused by colotrotrichum uh, truncatum bacterial blight which is caused by pseudomonas syringae pathoglycinia cercospora leaf spot which is caused by cercospora cubici and uh, charcoal rot which is caused by macrophomina fasciolina collar rot or sclerotial uh, blight which is caused by sclerotian ralsi frog eye leaf spot which is caused by cercospora sojina rhizoctonia aerial blight which is caused by rhizoctonia solani soybean mosaic which is caused by soybean mosaic virus and yellow mosaic which is caused by mungbean yellow mosaic virus now we will see in detail about one by one so coming to the first one alternaria leaf spot which is caused by alternaria tenusima and uh, coming to the symptoms we can clearly see in uh, here you know a uh, necrotic spots can be seen our leaves in leaves clearly seen necrotic spots along with uh, concentric rings because the concept formation of concentric rings will be the characteristic feature of alternaria whatever uh, the alternaria disease you can take the formation of concentric rings will be very very common so the necrotic spots along with the concentric rings can be seen here and they uh, and they initially they form very small spots later they coalesces and uh, and look like to very large necrotic area so infected leaves also dry and uh, they when they they are uh, premature uh, they are, they drop prematurely so coming to the management aspects use a healthy and certified seed along with destroy the crop residues from the fields and seed treatment with theram or carbendazim at the rate of 2 uh, to 1 ratio at the rate of 3 g per kg of seeds and along with uh, use of mango zip or copper uh, copper fungicides at the rate of 2.5 g per liter of water or carbendazim uh, 1 g per liter of water can be recommended so coming to second one anthraconos or pod blight which is caused by colotrotrichum truncatum so the name itself anthraconos or pod blight indicates so symptoms mainly we can see on pod region or uh, uh, you know and the i mean uh, inflorescence region so if you see the symptoms uh, uh, infected seeds become shriveled and moldy growth can be clearly observed here moldy growth can be seen and uh, we can also observe this anthraconos symptoms on stem as well as the uh, cotyledon also i mean another pod also so brown color sunken spots uh, uh, appears in irregular stages brown color sunken spots uh, appears on pod as well as in leaves also so in a later stages what will happen uh, this uh, infected uh, you know tissues can be entirely covered with uh, black color fruiting bodies are black color fruiting bodies are masses of uh, mycelium coming to the management aspects use healthy or certified seeds and uh, rotate soybean with cereals i mean crop rotation and uh, do not uh, cultivate uh, when the foliage is wet and uh, uh, remove the infected plants and uh, destroying the uh, stubbles of last year stubbles and then uh, maintain the well drained fields as well as seed treatment with theram or uh, theram or uh, uh, capton or carbendazim 3 g per kg of seeds can be recommended and use of mango zip at the rate of 2.5 g per liter or spraying carbendazim at the rate of 1 g per liter of water can be recommended so coming to the next disease bacterial blight which is caused by pseudomonas syringae pathover glycinia the name itself indicates a bacterial blightening uh, mainly due to the pseudomonas infection coming to the symptoms so small transcurrent water soaked lesions can be seen this is small transcurrent water soaked lesions so a small transcurrent water soaked or light brown color lesions can be seen on the uh, surface of leaves so most of the infected seeds uh, sorry infected uh, leaves can be destroyed and shows so chlorotic lesions also can be seen here and again chlorotic lesions also can be seen here and uh, defoliation can be also be observed and uh, uh, later this uh, defoliated i uh, mean later this uh, uh, you know chlorotic lesions are can slowly converted into black color uh, masses i mean black color lesions on uh, stems and as well as petioles coming to the management aspects deep summer flowing and along with use of healthy or certified seeds can be recommended and destroying of infected crop debris and a seed treatment with streptocycline at the rate of 250 ppm or is 2.5 g per 10 kg of seeds can be recommended and application of any copper fungicide at the rate of 2 g per liter of water and use of streptocycline at the rate of 250 ppm in the sense 2.5 g in 10 liters of water use 250 ppm can give uh, better results coming to next disease cercospora leaf blight which is caused by cercospora kikuchi so coming to the symptoms so on the leaves we can see uh, 
reddish purple color symptoms can be seen here reddish purple color symptoms so along with uh, chlorosis also can be observed here uh, this is uh, not complete green so chlorosis also can be can be observed so reddish purple along with uh, so sunken spots can be seen sunken spots with reddish purple color uh, lesions and defoliation occurs in later stages so later uh, young leaves will be blightened especially you know upper leaves uh, uh, can be blightened and can be withered in uh, later stages of uh, crop growth so coming to the management aspects use healthy and certified seeds and uh, crop debris or can be removed and can be uh, burned and uh, seed treatment with uh, theorem or carbon is in 2 to 1 ratio at the rate of 3 gram per kilogram can be uh, recommended and the use of mancozib or copper oxychloride at the rate of 2.5 gram per liter or carbon at the rate of 1 gram per liter can be recommended so coming to the next disease charcoal rot which is caused by macrophomina fasciolina so the name itself indicates rottening or charcoal like appearance or charcoal powdery like appearance in especially the root regions so coming to in detail about uh, symptoms so coming in leaf region wilting of leaves can be read especially in the lower leaves so wilting can be seen and the chlorotic lesions also can be seen on the leaves so coming to uh, you know uh, stems we can see here b b black color powdery masses or black color uh, appearance of the stem if we split open we can see the black color discoloration of the stem and the sclerotia also can be formed as a result of a resting structure so this is macrophomina produce sclerotia and the powdery masses of black color charcoal powdery masses can also be observed if we split open or cut open this uh, stem region and uh, the main reason for the production of sclerotia is during unfavorable conditions this sclerotia can survive in soil and can uh, survive as inoculum for uh, uh, next season so coming to the management aspects deep plowing in summer as well as uh, balanced fertilizer application to the crop can also be one of the management practices and uh, rotate soya bean with cereals and maintain uh, well drained field and uh, destroying the uh, infected stubbles every year and uh, seed treatment with trichoderma viride at the rate of 4 gram per kilogram or pseudomonas fluorescens at the rate of 10 gram per kilogram of seeds can be recommended along with the chemical treatments like carbendazim or uh, theorem at the rate of 2 gram per kilogram of seeds also recommended and spot drenching or soil drenching with carbendazim 1 gram per liter of water or, uh, or application of any one of the bicontrolation that is pseudomonas fluorescens or trichoderma at the rate of 2.5 kilogram per hectare along with 50 kgs of farmyard manure. Next disease frog eye leaf spot which is caused by Cercospora sojina. Coming to the uh, you know symptoms, we can see the grey or brown color lesions or spots can be appeared on the leaves. We can brown color or uh, uh, you know grey color lesions can be seen which is uh, surrounded by a brown lesions can be seen. So defoliation can also be observed and this uh, symptoms can also be observed on leaves as well as stems and pods also the, we can see the same leaf spot symptoms. So these lesions are irregular and uh, angular uh, sometimes you know uh, brown to light brown color lesions also can be seen. Uh, the, initially they may produce small uh, uh, you know uh, spots or small, uh, small spots. Later the all spots are coalesces and uh, produce the larger uh, very big big spots on leaves. So coming to the management aspects using of healthy and certified seeds and rotation of uh, soybean with the cereals and completely remove the infected materials and burning of the infected stubbles and seed treatment with the theorem plus carbonism at the rate of 2 to 1 ratio at the rate of 3 gram per kilogram of seeds can be recommended and spraying mancozib at the rate of 2.5 gram per liter or carbonism 1 gram per liter of uh, uh, water also can be recommended the next disease is rhizoctonia aerial blight which is caused by rhizoctonia solani so coming to the symptoms, so this eaten region is not due to the pathogens. I think this is due to the, uh, you know, insects. I think uh, insects was eaten up by and uh, main symptoms are the formation of the lesions are the definitely as a characteristics of uh, pathogens. Uh, but uh, this eaten portion is might be due to the insects, I think. So coming to the uh, symptoms, so irregular tan shaped or irregular brown color sunken lesions can be seen. We can see here irregular brown color sunken lesions can be seen uh, in the leaves initially small spots are produced later uh, all the spots are coalesced to form big spots uh, soon they can uh, become a greenish brown to a red color uh, appearance on the uh, uh, leaf and the infection portion completely turned into tan brown color or, uh, or uh, you know uh, either black color uh, completely converted into tan brown color or black color uh, in uh, uh, you know color uh, black color uh, appearance and you know uh, then uh, dark brown sclerotia also formed on leaves and petioles 
uh, because uh, this rhizoctonia pathogen produce, uh, pro- produces sclerotia and then pathogen survive in soil in the form of I means uh, sclerotia formation of sclerotia can uh, help in survival of soil coming to the management aspects avoid dense planting along with uh, completely covered the uh, you know uh, crop residues or the uh, you know uh, harvested materials can be burned that been one of the uh, uh, better management practice and the seed treatment with theramar carbon is in 2 to 1 ratio at the rate of 3 g per kg can be recommended and along with this uh, using of mango zebar copper fungicides at the rate of 2, 2.5 g per liter of water or carbon zim at the rate of uh, 1 g per liter of water can be recommended so coming to the soybean which is caused by soybean mosaic which is caused by soybean mosaic virus so on the right side we can clearly see it infected leaves get mottled yellowing will be very common and the mottling of leaves mottling in the sense you know alternate green and yellow patches and you know we can see here alternate green and yellow patches so this is the, this is like a little bit like a mottling that's why it's called mottling and uh, infected leaves also puckered crinkled and uh, uh, you know ka, ka, uh, bending of leaves i mean uh, not completely bending a uh, stunting of leaves and as well as uh, uh, can be seen and often the infected plants of soybean mosaic viruses are stunted uh, stunting growth also can be seen and this fail to germinate and produce good quality seeds and as well as seedlings and yellow supports so coming to the management aspects use healthy and certified seeds and uh, uh, keeping the field free from breeds and also roguing the infected plant materials and bend them out and then uh, two foliar sprays at the rate of uh, i mean uh, uh, two foliar sprays with uh, thymethoxam 25 g wettable uh, sorry uh, wettable granules at the rate of 100 g per hectare or methyl dematon 800 ml per hectare at 30 and 45 days after growing can control the uh, vectors uh, because it's a viral disease so coming to the next disease yellow mosaic which is caused by mung bean yellow mosaic virus here also we can see the same symptoms uh, mottling of leaves alternate green and yellow patches can be seen it's it look like very dangerous and you know uh, it's a uh, the the uh, appearance it look like a little bit uh, scary you know the conspicuous uh, mottling and as well as you know bright yellow mottling uh, yes that's why it's a, it look like a very bright yellow that's why it, it was a little bit scary you know b- bright yellow mottling on leaves can be observed as well as you know scattering of alternate yellow and uh, uh, green patches also also can be seen these are the look they, they appears like bands and that's why uh, uh, the leaves are very bright in here and uh, necrotic spots or necrotic appearance also can be necrotic uh, uh, for leaves can also be appearance in uh, when mature stages coming to the management aspects roguing out the infected plants up to you uh, know up to 30 days so we have to take care of the plants up to 30 days after uh, uh, you know uh, sowing and spraying monocotropus at the rate of 500 ml or methyl dematon at the rate of 25 uh, 25 ec 500 ml as uh, twice in 50 days and 30 days after uh, uh, sowing can be recommended because uh, the insecticide that we are using here to control uh, vectors so coming to questions related to ars or net uh, uh, maybe uh, the chance of asking causal organisms I uh, mean, maybe uh, soybean yellow mosaic virus. Uh, more than that, uh, there is nothing much to look into. This is about soybean.